hello everyone in this video i am going to show you how to create this realistic typography in the app ibs paint text so i'll be giving step by step instruction brush details material details all those things in this video so don't skip anywhere and also i'll be sharing the tips that i uh, learned from my experience so first here i have to show you this is my subscriber who told me to create typography for her name Fiona. So now I'm going to create that typography in the app IBS Paint X. So I'm going to open a 3 is to 4 ratio canvas and you can choose 4K, 3K, 2K, whatever. Don't use 1K because uh, when the pixel range is higher, you get the better quality. So go on with. Uh, 2k usually or 3k and now i'm going to use the usual casual font not anything fancy but uh, i'm going to uh, add details mainly so if i add too many um, stylish font as well as background details it will be like you know clumsy so i uh, wish to keep the font very neat and as because we're going to add many details around that so I'm keeping the font neat as much as possible and if you want to increase the thickness of the stroke do this so that you uh, get the thicker font whatever the font may be try this click on this stroke and increase the value make sure you use the same color as that of the font so that your font looks thick and now I'm going to rasterize this text layer so that we can use transform tool brush dish details whatever it may be and I just adjust the height of the font a little bit and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add um, some texture to the font means uh, I want to make the theme in, in like a fabric theme so to add uh, the font has to be like something like embroidery or any uh, cloth texture. So to add that, I am going to use the fur one brush to make it look like a real uh, font made from thread embroidery or something using the thread. So now once I use the brush, you can see the corners looks like a thread one. And you can also try for two brush or any other brush that have such texture. I used for one brush here. And yes, we have done. Now the font is ready. And again, I feel like I have to adjust the font's height. Now it's ready. Now I'm going to add um you know mm, texture to that so i'm going to the materials pattern and here from this i'm going to use the um towel fabric here you can see this white color towel fabric material what you have to do is adjust the size like this and make that layer as multiply blending mode and click on the texture you can see once you added the multiply it multiplied with the color of the font and that's how it have to look and also you can adjust the uh, opacity of the layer if you want and I'm also going to add a dot uh, detail for this font so click on this dot uh, material and I'm adjusting like this you can rotate and adjust like this now you can see uh, the material is actually black and white so what I have to do is I am going to remove the white plain white color using the bucket tool here you can see there is a bucket there is a click on that and make sure you click on the current layer option and click on the white area now all the white details are removed using the bucket eraser now click on the lock uh, alpha lock and using the lasso fill option i am going to change the color of the dots polka dots into a pink colored one 
so this is the easy way that i can do you can also try clipping but this works better now i release the aflog and i feel like i want it to be a little bit bigger now it's good also just change and see what blending mode looks better and how uh, what kind of outcome you want based on that you can change the blending mode adjust the opacity like this here i used add blending mode and reduce the opacity of the layer so it looks like this now in the new layer i am going to use the speed press actually the brush pattern is different i change the brush pattern to chalk so that's why the brush will look like this now you can see so this is like a stitch thread i'm going to create such detail using the speed brush it looks uh, weird now but once we finished overall artwork it looks really good and realistic so this is the speed brush and make all the corners like this like a font with a different fabric is stitched over the denim cloth so that's the concept here and now i have to create the shadow also i feel it is very light so i'm just duplicating layer and changing blend mode to linear burn and now merging the two layers together and again now the it looks dark and now i'm going to duplicate click on the alpha lock change the color to black using the laser fill tool just click on the laser tool and drag like this all the details will be filled with the black color now only the details because we have switched on the alpha lock so now using the transform tool just move it a little bit lower or higher it's depend on the direction of the shadow that you want so here i want the shadow to be a little bit lower so i am moving to the uh, bottom angle and using the direction my moving blur i'm creating the blur here you can see also change the direction of the moving blur as you wish also strength if you increase this strength it will be more blurry and will not show that much details just like a normal shadow so i keep that strength as minimum and changing the direction so that it looks like the shadow at the bottom now the shadow for the font is ready and i'm going to create a folder and put all the font details in that folder okay the font details everything is over now we going to play on the background so go to material patterns go to damaged jeans yeah damaged jeans and click on the repeat option here now it is repeated adjust the size like this using the anchor points and now it is ready so now create a layer and here i am going to use the filthy pen hard brush to draw the uh, rectangle so why i am using rectangle here is about the denim cloth i am going to use another cloth to create a rectangle and at the top of that cloth there is the fiona uh, text so that's the uh, theme here so now i just created basic square a rectangle then using the fur brush and just the size of the brush and again i am creating another rectangle without filling uh, switch on the lock transfer lock uh, alpha lock and fill with the same color that we used for the rectangle so why i'm doing is i want the cloth uh, thread details at the corner of the rectangle so that's why i did and i forgot to add shadow for the font so i just duplicated the fiona text layer and filled with the black color once i 
uh, switched on the alpha lock and then switch off the alpha lock and move the font shadow like this to the bottom and here you can see there is dark details then click the Gaussian blur it is good and click on the tick now in the same way i'm going to create the shadow for rectangle as well so go to rectangle duplicated layer click on the alpha lock fill uh, with the black color make sure you switch on the alpha lock while doing this and then move it little bit to the bottom to create the shadow then go to blur you can either use gaussian blur or moving blur based on your requirement if you if you want it to be like blurry at all the direction just go for gaussian blur now it looks good and now I don't like the color of the polka dots here so I'm switching on the alpha log and changing the color to white and also I'm going to create another layer and that layer I'm going to add pink color using the airbrush So using the airbrush normal, I am going to create some variations in the um, color of the font. These are some minor details that can make a uh, no huge difference in the outcome of the artwork. So you can also try varying the colors, texture, texture also play a big role. Uh, when it comes to digital art so now I'm just creating a clipping layer for so yeah I forgot this so before that I am going to create a stitched thread detail using the dashed line brush at the top of rectangle layer like this yeah and as usual everything had a shadow so I'm just going to duplicate the layer click on the alpha lock change the color to black using the lasso fill tool like this release the alpha lock using the transform tool move it little bit lower like this it may not show off that much now but after we added adding the details texture for the uh, rectangle it uh, gives some um, changes in the look so now i wish to add some stitches here as well at the top of the denim so using the multiply planning mode and airbrush normal i'm going to create some details Now using the dashed line, I am going to add these dotted dashed lines. Yeah, now it looks good. And here I forgot to add some highlights. So going on to these top stitching details and using the clipping layer add blending mode clipping layer and airbrush normal just adding such a highlight here the 
it's like a glowy silk thread so it have some uh, highlight as well as the a uh, shadow so only i'm adding the highlights here because already at the corner it is darker little bit yeah now it looks good and now go to the rectangle layer create a new layer with the clipping and change the blending mode to add using the white color using the texture brush that i have if you want to download this brush already have shared the qr code of this brush in a separate video so go and check the br free brushes download with qr code uh, you can find the br this brush textured brush in that uh, set of brushes that i have shared so now i added the texture but it doesn't look good so adjust the opacity so it looks realistic yeah now it looks good now i wish to add some since this is going to be like a uh, girls or women's denim jean i'm going to keep it little bit flowery so at the top of this texture the clipping layer i'm going to add some flowers so search for flower and here i found a purple uh, or lavender color flower that is really good so i'm going to use this or this yeah this one and just drag and position wherever you want so i want multiple flaws here so just duplicate the layer and using the transform tool position wherever you want also adjust the size don't keep it everything symmetry means all with the same size same doesn't make a uh, you know good look doesn't give some um, good appearance so better go for uh, asymmetric randomness that is a really good thing so i'm just changing the position changing the angle changing the size so that it looks uh, good so now i'm going to merge the layers all the flaws layer together also adjust the uh, opacity change the blending mode and check which one looks good uh, let me try some other blending modes so yeah light and blending mode looks realistic like the real floor is floral details is printed on the cloth that's how it looks so yeah almost ready and here is for the typography for fiona hope you like this so i'm going to save this as png now and i will show you how it looks so hope you like this tutorial learned something new from me many of you not subscribing but watching my videos so please subscribe check this all my videos and thank you for watching like this video share with everyone who wish to create digital art thank you for watching bye